One of the important skills you need to develop as a scheme programmer is the ability to think recursively about solving problems. We can perform arithmetic recursively by treating each operand as a collection of different items. So if we treat this that we have three items plus four items, then one way that we can do this addition is we take from four and add it to the three side. And we do that over and over until eventually we have everything on one side of the operator. We can do this recursively by adding one to the left operand and subtracting one from the right operand, giving us four plus three. And we can continue to do this, five plus two, six plus one, seven plus zero, until on the right-hand side we have zero. Anything plus zero is itself, which means that our answer now is going to be seven. Suppose we want to take the sum of a list, three, one, negative four, two. In Java or C, you would have a for loop and you would go through each individual cell, look at the number that was there and keep a running sum of what you'd seen so far. But in Scheme, we're gonna use recursion to solve this problem. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the first element off and then we're going to take the sum of the remaining elements in the list, one, negative four, and two. And we're gonna add that together later. Then we're gonna sum this list recursively by taking one off and then summing negative four and two. And we're gonna take negative four off and sum the list two. And then our easy case, we're gonna take two out and sum that with the empty list. Now the empty list trivially has a sum of zero. So we're gonna take that sum and add it here and that's gonna give us zero plus two. The sum there is gonna be two. Then we're gonna add four to that sum to give us negative two. We're gonna add one to that sum to give us negative one. And then we're gonna add three to that sum to give us two. And each of these we're adding. So I'll add plus symbols there. Now, suppose instead of adding everything in the list, we wanted to create a new list that contained the squares of each element in that list. So what we would do there is we're gonna treat the first element of the list differently than the rest. For that, we're gonna take three and have it separately. And then we're gonna square the list one, negative four, and two. And then we're gonna combine the square of three with those values. And our base case is gonna be two or just the empty list. So now when we square two, we get four and we're gonna add that to our list. When we square negative four, we get 16. When we square one, we get one. And when we square three, we get nine. And we add all those back to the list recursively and that gives us our solution.